the Rock and Endure Society, and we stream live around six ish. Yeah, six ish. That's our yeah. official time. Six ish, meaning six to seven p.m. is when we usually get started. <laughs> I got my microphone. And we stream on TikTok, Twitch, and Facebook, with hopefully in the future also being on YouTube and other platforms. But we've been doing this now for a little while. This group has been around for about thirty years. We've only been at this for a little over a year now. You're in half. I know. I know. I know. It was like, oh. And the rest of the group is rolling in. Roll in, roll in, roll in. Keep the doggies rolling. Copyright problems, you a holes. Mark it off. Copyright problems. No. Yeah, Brian, we're all sorts of trouble. <laughs> yes, in answer to your question, we cause problems. We don't solve. <laughs> That's right. Causing problems is so much funner. Yes, it's funner. Clifford Drobs says, I used to play a D&D board game. I loved it, but everyone <laughs> eventually moved. That's what happened. That's what happened. That's what happened to everyone. Like that Trying. thing on Facebook that's going around, like the D&D movie. It's like... You know, what they should do is stop the movie halfway through. Yeah. And then everybody has to figure out a time. That would be that's perfect. It. Yeah. That's, that's, that's how gaming in real life really is. Yeah. And somebody said, well, the PNP movie's coming out. Who's going? And they're like, I can't that night, I guess. I, I got <laughs> okay, yeah, so I'm going. Yeah. You're going to work yeah. for me. Well, yeah. It'll be around for six weeks yeah. for sure. Uh, so... There you go. So that's what we are, and we have a YouTube and all that stuff. So yeah. Check out our link tree and all of our social media and see what we're doing. And tonight we are playing Tales from the Loop. Yeah, it's funny. Everybody's like, D&D. &D. And I'm like, we have not yet played D&D. &D. No, we haven't. No, no I know. haven't played D&D. &D. And everybody that's TikTok yeah. took us out. We're also <laughs> live streaming on uh, hey, Twitch man. and Facebook. Yep. 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 With a whole different look set up. So, yep. you know. Yeah. Different cameras. The TikTok yeah, view is like right 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 right. laser beams or something. You are. You are. I'm scanning your brain. <laughs> 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 it's the probing, Brad. That, oh! Thank you for the love. Oh! Thank you for the love. 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 Thank you for the Potiferating. Potiferating. Oh, we're going to make up words now. Yeah. Aren't we? Well, it's a mic <laughs> word. It's a mic word. It's, it's a, a mic word. word. Yeah. Brad, you want to quick uh, tell us what tail loop is so people at home no. have no idea? Well, look, and that's what it's about, folks. And uh, Brad rolls the roll, the world, and uh, yeah, you're lucky enough to be standing here watching him take over. Tales from the Loop characters. No, we have not. Tales from the Loop is from Free League out of Sweden. Yeah. And, uh, it is based on the artwork of, uh, I can remember his name, Simon. Sure. Simon Sonnen Hogg. I did not like that. Uh, basically, it is a game uh, It takes place in a fictional 80s where there is uh, the future is kind of a little bit more advanced. They've got different things like robots and um, time machines and dinosaurs, uh, all because of uh, what they call a loop, a scientific it's the, uh, with the, the like article accelerator, accelerator. accelerator that's been done. Yay, Steve! And oh, scientists that do weird stuff. And basically, we get to play kids in this world. Not with kids, we are kids. Well, more younger kids than what we are now. <laughs> <laughs> and it's 80s kids, so it's even better. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Like like noonies and um what do you mean? Noonies? Oh, well, kind of, I missed that one. <laughs> you can say it. Are we sure? <laughs> Was that, was that, was no, that, that would be by Rich Connor? <laughs> Rich Connor. Yes. Oh yes. And he comes from the future to tell us how to scream. Oh my God. This Take my hand if you want to scream. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. I'm from Sky. Next. <laughs> 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 oh, don't say Disney. Oh, crap. Oh, well, that's, 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 that's the big guys right there. Oh, yeah, it is. <laughs> who's who's not even a P word? Level is everybody? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Who's who, dudes? Ask who, what level is everybody? Uh, well, I know. Uh, the game. There is no real level. No levels. Uh, uh, we're game, we're playing kids. I'm on a completely different level. <laughs> Why don't you go ahead and add and say who you're playing? Okay. Uh, I am playing Johnny Cage. <laughs> Mortal Kombat. Mortal Kombat. Finish me! Oh, too late. I will. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> My good every nerd out there. Ah, uh, yes. Out. Everyone's like, <laughs> yeah, yeah, we're um, fine. Um, uh, I'm playing Johnny Cage, which is a kid from the United States. His dad is uh, uh, basically a okay. general or something like that. Or, uh, He's something in the government with the military and some sort of contractor. Right. And I'm just living there with these other Norwegians and uh, <laughs> in Norwegian. In Norwegian. Yeah. Yeah. And I've made friends with them. Uh, we have like focus items which can yeah. like make us get through some trouble. And I have fingerless gloves that were given to me by Chuck Norris himself. I just release them and they kick everybody's butt and come back to me. It's like a boomerang. From, you know, so. that's, a, that's a lie. That but... is a lie. <laughs> People are going to be watching for that. We want to see Chuck Norris' love kick everybody's butt. Chuck Norris' butt kick everybody's butt. But he's actually (laughs) a computer nerd, and his dad wants him to be a soldier, so he's learned martial arts. So he's kind of like that in-between kind of kid. So. Anyway, that's what I'm in. Johnny Cage. Next. I am Lueva, and I am playing a Swedish girl in Sweden. I am 12 years old. And... Made of pudding. Pudding. Made of pudding. (laughs) And, uh... I live kind of just out of town. My uh, iconic item is a BMX. She loves to ride her bike everywhere. Uh, she's got a alcoholic mother and a dad that's always working. And her favorite band is The Cure. And she's hanging out with these people because they're fun. Yep. That's her, the blonde with the hat. Right there. Anything, My to, anything to stay out of the house. <laughs> My character is Finn Bergstrom. And he is the typical jock, you know, character. Look, yeah. dude, just about like can be an arm wrestling type kid, you know. Yeah. Yeah. And he doesn't really have his favorite song is "I the Tiger." <laughs> you know, I <laughs> that tells me my like, older, right? and his pride is on better than the breasts. You know? So that's that's Sven. Sven is the one with the blue uh, jacket right there with his hand fist up in the air. Yep. And his best friend is the Egghead. Hey, me with the red bandana. Yep. Yep. Shut up, Egghead. Uh, I don't think I said my name. It's and, love. I just and, said I'm sweet. And if Wade, or he's convinced that your character's a boy and Wade's That's, character's a girl. Yeah. yeah. And also a witch. And also a witch. A witch. Yeah. <laughs> so. Which one, though? We don't know. Okay. Uh, I am playing Victor Larson. Uh, I am also 12 years old. Uh, he's the weirdo of the group, so he's infatuated with, like, Universal Monsters and monster movies. Uh, his idol is Van Helsing and the Ghostbusters. <laughs> his favorite song is Devo Through Being Cool. Uh, he wears a derby for some reason, just because he's weird. Uh, he usually has all kinds of drawing pads and pencils because he's an artist. Um... His father doesn't think the artwork's going to get him anywhere, but he is determined that he is a good artist and he's going to he's going to make that work. So his drawing pad is his iconic item. So whenever we go places, I draw maps of it, or if we see something, I'll do a sketch of it and all that stuff. And that's that's him with the red shirt down there. So yeah. Okay, then we have so, Dennis Brom. My first name is Brom. Goss is your last name. What? Goss, I think you're Goss. Yeah, well, Goss. Yeah. Goss. Yeah. Uh, my father is actually German. My mother died a couple of years ago because uh, she had a head on with a logging truck accident. And uh, my father is a doctor and he's usually not at home and around, but a lot of off on myself a lot of the time. Uh, I am uh, basically a jock, and my thing is skateboarding. And he's the one with the skateboard there. And uh, the skateboard is my iconic item. Um, the one person that I kind of go to when I really have something I need to talk about is the uh, head nurse at my doctor's office. Uh, Hello, nurse. Hello, nurse. Um, I know. I, I probably wouldn't mind if she became my new mum, but uh, <laughs> the phone. I don't know. Oh, I all the stuff that probably ain't gonna happen. You anyway, be, you wanna be your mommy or just mommy? It's <laughs> <laughs> time to nurse. <laughs> I'm thirsty, yeah. mommy. Again, yeah. but. That's and Wade and Ron aren't here tonight to introduce their yeah. character. They had a birthday party to go to. Birthday party. Wade normally, Wade normally plays uh, Magnus. Magnus, <laughs> a farm kid. It's uh, very good with uh, fixing stuff. 
That's him in the back with the overalls. And then uh, Ronnie who plays Annalena. Uh, she's kind of a rocker kid. <laughs> Carries around a boom box all the time. The blue shirted gal with the boom box. Imagine that. Yeah. <laughs> blue box girl with the boom shirt. <laughs> so, uh, kind of and of course, this is Brad Hilton, our yeah, game master. I don't have a character. He is a character. He's all the characters. He's all, he's everything. Oh, I prostate myself to the. <laughs> I'm, I'm actually offended by that. Oh, you don't, you don't like my prostate? Well, I'll put it in your bag. <laughs> Let me just tuck that up in there. Oh, that wasn't mine. <laughs> Who had a buffalo in here? Not Where's that, my prostate? Not sure that's how it works, but thanks, girl. Yeah. Yeah. There's some poor buffalo out there going, I feel weird. And now we were dead. <laughs> oh. And we're banned again. Thanks for playing. Okay, so we're continuing a story that we started. Moving on. Thanks, boy. Um, recapping here, uh, you guys were hyped to go see uh, the movie Ice Pirates. Ice Pirates, yeah. yeah. Uh, Damn it. Down in the town of Stan Herma. Uh, unfortunately, the bus was not running, and you guys were forced to stay there in uh, uh, Coombsburg. Uh, so you decided to go get some pizza where you ran into uh, Lars... Bork, Bork, and <laughs> some other thing. Oh, wasn't it Wolf or something? Uh, oh, Wolf. Oh. Wolf. Wolf. Yeah. And uh, basically, they were kind of snickering and talking about something, and you guys asked them what was going on, and basically, See, they, the implies, they right? told you about a body, and they, they were kind of goading you into uh, telling you how you know, you're not brave enough to go look at this dead body and found in the woods and stuff. So you guys kind of head out, take them up on their challenge, and you head out. Uh, all on the way, you pass a farm where there's a robot yes. in the yard and everything. A little robot. Um, you guys kind of tapped the mind in the moment, <laughs> and you went to go check out the body and found out that it was just a mannequin. <clears throat> so you grabbed up the mannequin and, this is going and decided something. to play a trick on Lars. Uh, meanwhile, on the way back, you stopped and you kind of checked out the robot thing. Thought it was pretty cool and everything. Check out that robot thing. You yep. see the robot, the robot, robot, the robot. A what? And then it's a groin socket. <laughs> and then it's a, it's I am fully fine. Mm -hmm. And I uh, tried to play a trick on Lars where you held the uh, <laughs> get up and put some yeah, the stuff on thing it. Over. It was failed horribly. We made our own. And my then his dad came out and basically grabbed the thing and started yelling, but you guys weren't found or anything. <laughs> we were lucky. Uh, and then you put some letter. On his windowsill, pointing the blame over to this guy over here. Yeah. <laughs> the counter or but now the that father is coming found him. Like he was down in the sub basement. He yeah. Was, uh, checking out, too. Hmm. He was pondering his. I wonder if okay. it was a well, even so, so, When you got here, Mike, you moved a bunch of stuff around, didn't you? What? No. Didn't I see you moving stuff around? Uh, no, they were just his costume he put in a bag. Oh, okay. Yep. Did you put his hair in a bag? Not that I know of. I, all I did was put the gloves and the cigarettes I in there and uh, double check. Month. I thought so, I thought a mystery. Uh, you guys then went back. No, he's going into the portal room. You guys went back oh, and talked, uh, went back and checked out the uh, robot again. This time you wanted to talk to the, to the owner or whatever. Yeah. And basically, um, oh, I so believe you, you found out that uh, yeah, because you talked to your grandmother. Uh, Johnny, and you found out that that family there had lost their kid a couple right. of years ago. Uh, he went missing, and no one could find him. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so in the they swamp, declared, wasn't it? Yeah, they declared him dead. Um, so then you guys kind of went and checked it out, and uh, the thing that was kind of weird was though the robot had sort of like an empathy to him and everything like that. Right, right. eyeball. He was like, like good. was playing a game with you. He was showing you the book, yeah. and then it turned yeah. out he liked rabbits because he was jumping up and down and right. stuff like that. Um, I mean, he was like a little kid. Yeah, like a little kid and yeah. everything. And he was showing you the toys that were in the room that was apparently their son's room. Right. And you saw a little charging station that was kind of ad hoc. Mm -hmm. it wasn't something you bought in the store, you yeah. know? Yep. <clears throat> Seen that once on the fire alarm system. Did we, we heard what the little boy's name was, but I can't remember. Oscar. Oh, Oscar. Oscar. Yeah, I knew that one. Mm -hmm. I knew that one, man. Of course you did, hot dog. Hot dog! Uh, so basically, you guys did some investigation. 
and uh, you found out that yes, the kid went missing. Um, there was oh, um, actually right after that, you guys went across the across the street to the field. There was the painting. <laughs> Yes, the large machine that's used by the scientists at the loop for like measuring stuff and everything like that. Where's that? And basically, you were able to find out and get it operational again. Peter. And the hatch opened up. Right. That's when you guys went down and you saw that there was basically someone had hollowed out down below, like a little secret layer there, and there was a car, the cyrogenic pod. Two different pods there, right. the workstation, and then you found a real dead body. Right. And it was and he was actually, apparently the guy that was building this. He was um, apparently a scientist or something. Right. And we got his wallet. We got his wallet, and you found out his name was... Uh, but he's cleaned out. Xander Eng Engel was his name. Right. And uh, you found out that he had went missing sometime just before Oscar went missing. Right. Um, and uh, apparently he had owned a house... That's a, down the road a little bit. That was that is attached to the farm, the steel, and everything like that. Right. And it just got went for sale. Right? And it's been up for sale. Yeah. Yes. And the, but the place was pretty much empty. And yeah. Because we went and checked it out. I don't know. Yeah. You guys went and checked it out. Um, and you went to the library and looked up more on that story to confirm Oscar and both of the Eagle fella. The Eagle fella just seemed like he got fired from the loop or something. Right, we don't know why. You, uh, you then went and talked to the police, and you talked to uh, the gal there, the, the younger gal. She was investigating his disappearance. Uh, but as far as they could tell, I'll she said they were just, uh, uh, Maria Ng, Ng, something like that. Uh, da, 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 da. That's kind of an odd last name. <laughs> 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 damn Swedish name. Preposterous. Yeah. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Ingri Blank Blanking. Right. Okay, I think the first one was even better. Yeah. <laughs> I was <surprised. laughs> um, And they just kind of figured that he kind of got up and moved away and left. Mm -hmm. They didn't have the body and they didn't have any reasons to believe or suspect anything that happened. Right. So, um, Believe. Oh, and then you went back and talked to um, <coughs> Os Oscar's um, father, um, Hamish. I think it was. Hamish, my Google. Are you supposed to drink during this one? <laughs> Are you supposed to drink everything that's in the Google? Yeah, Hamish, <laughs> Denise, Sodra. My Google! Uh, the ones that own the robot. And basically, oh, yeah. he confessed that uh, they had uh, basically like a year later or something like that, and they saw the robot. There on their property, you didn't know where it came from. Um, right. but Denise was really she was always been heartbroken about over losing Oscar and everything, and then it kind of picked up her spirits to have these robots there. Well, he likes he basically he didn't really come out and say it, but he was basically saying, Well, I bought this robot, and she like that's when you first met him, yeah, yeah, when you first met him, he was because you came up to the gates and, and started talking, and said, Oh, I bought it in Stockholm, yeah. uh, for the help out with my wife. <laughs> But when you guys, you need to go back again towards the end there, and you kind of ask them some more, and basically that's when he kind of confessed that, yeah, they, they found it. Oh, and, okay. And he just didn't want, you know, she was getting attached to it, and so he didn't want to call anybody. He just, well, we'll keep it, you know, keep it. Yeah. That's when he kind of ad hoc the charging station, because they kind of figured it out, and it still need to be charged and everything like that. So. Okay, so he told us, or him. Yeah. That he did find that that okay. did find. Yeah, I got you now. Uh, so where we last last left off, basically last last off. Um, <laughs> well, you kind of figured out to the workstation because you got them down in the workstation. You had the manuals and stuff, and basically talked about transference of the human mind into a robot. Right, because I used my focus to figure yeah. out how it worked. Yes, and you you said the manual and stuff and kind of looked it over. And Wade's and character is trying to figure out how to actually do it. Yeah, because yeah. there was a logical problem that was going to pass. I got it right here. That, that was one of the things that needed to be fixed. Um, so the last one we left off, you guys were <laughs> hadn't quite made your plans on what to do. The right. whole thing with the workstation is going to be part of that extended trouble at the end. Right. Uh, but before you did that, you wanted to go and speak uh, with uh, Gunnar Grana. He's that scientist that man. was... He's not the bird guy. Oh. Well, he is the bird guy. Because there was two different persons. There was the actual 
Uh, what do you call personal studies? Or an ornithologist? Or an ornithologist? Or an scientist. He was the guy that had a TV show and he was like, Rummy? Yeah. Got, he started to get attacked by <laughs> birds and so he's right. Right. coming now. Yeah. Right. And he used to have a talk show and now he's kind of ruined because he can't go out and everything. You guys went and talked to him about the, the Lynn last story. But uh, Gunner was an actual scientist from the loop. Okay. And yeah. he was working. He thought he was in love with this uh, Lena Thielen. Oh, yeah. That's she cool. was the one that actually got him to help her design that machine that would put the cybernetic chips in the birds and mm-hmm. stuff like that. And they were rather <laughs> aggressive. So you guys, when you guys did solve that story, you kind of helped him out. Realizing that he was being used and everything, and that he was, you guys were able to. Is that the one who had the daughter that we met? No, it's his niece. Niece. Okay. Yes. Uh, that was, um, her name is hard to pronounce. Uh, Moss and Silverston. Okay. And she had her dog, Bolin. That's right. Oh, she yeah. didn't have a dog. She's a little yeah, older than us, though. She is older than you guys. Yeah, she's like 15 or 16. I think 60. I mean, she, well, I'll say 16 because she's right out of that range. Yeah. So, um, and she had come from, you remember, she was hiding yeah, out at her uncle's right. place because her own family was, she was from Stockholm and her family was kind of. Her father was kind of bad, and okay. so she had to get out of there. And so she had been living in the house and everything. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and that is where we left off. Oh, you're good. All right, folks, thanks for turning in. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, thanks for coming for today. Here. We got to go to our psychiatrist. <laughs> uh, what did we play last week? Ghostbusters, right? On uh, last week, we did a uh, character generation. For that. Would it have been, been there with that? <laughs> Would it have been there with that? We didn't have a... Uh, Maybe. Well, did you have a, an outfit on for that? I didn't have an outfit, but no. No, he just a matter of my, my, did you have my, my folder with my character sheet. Yeah, maybe it's there. It does Dale have it? No, I don't have it. Uh, Brad, no, you took it. Uh, you my it. No, I don't have it. Uh, <laughs> Brad, you said you were gone, but I saw you sneak in. <laughs> like a ninja. Yeah. <laughs> is it in, is it in the <laughs> slim sub basement? <laughs> no. Is that the particle no, still reading? That's right, Doc, right now. Okay, what about the... the uh, yeah, I think it... What is the black chair? It's probably... Do you remember which folder you were, had when you were doing your character? Mm. Hey, is that it? There's this... Yeah. <laughs> we solved a problem. It was when you worked six shifts in four days. Yeah, yeah. that's right. <laughs> the character sheet. <laughs> Welcome back mind. to the game. Who am I? I have my soul back. <laughs> oh, yeah. Glad you could be here. Thank you for joining us. Thank you for <laughs> Oh, water. 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 Mixed drinks. It's Ooh. actually gin. <laughs> this is liquefied chicken. Liquefied chicken. Oh, oh I had that last week. Liquid chicken. Liquid chicken. Liquid chicken. Right. chicken. Liquid chicken. So what are you guys doing? Are you going to go visit this uh, gumcher? Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Now, how... How late was it getting? It was oh. after lunch or something, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah it was pretty early. early. It was yeah, because like... yeah, yeah, you guys had to wait for it to get dark. Because it doesn't get yeah. dark until real late. Yeah. Yeah. Well, well, I'm going to say it, it does get, I'm going to say, it, it, I don't know if the sure. No, that's fine, but we still dusk. have to be like. It gets that, it's that long dusk. Yeah, it's yeah. pretty dusk here. <laughs> Ten something. Wow, wow, wow. I need a dust pan. <laughs> <laughs> So you guys are gonna take off and go over to uh thank you. Nice dust mop. Dust mop got is it gunner? Gunner. gunner. You can write some dust and grind it. Why did I deserve that? Thank you. So you guys head on over there. Um so, two of you had not been there before. You guys are gonna go see a bird guy? We're, we're gonna go see a bird guy? No. Yeah, he's so cool. Like we saved him because he's covered in bird poop. Well, when we saved him, oh, I said a p word. Oh. Bird. Yeah, but we <laughs> he was putting microchips in birds, and they were attacking people. But we were able to, like to chill him out. Oh, that after... must have been the weekend we were down at the river or something. I wasn't with you guys. Yeah, yeah, you weren't there. 
Peghead yeah. knows all about it. Yeah. I'm oh, sorry, it's yeah. not the river. It would be the coast. He does a lake. He the doesn't lake. up about it. lake, okay. Which is like only like a mile away or something. <laughs> we can't <laughs> go we on, on the coast. We are on the coast. I don't know where you little people are, but we are on the coast. All right. We went to Norwegia. It's in Norwegia. We went to, to, went to the, the east side of the coast. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Their parents took them on vacation. Okay, so. All right. So okay. we're going to... So uh, you kind of head over there. It was like a, a two-story house, um, and you kind of ride up and everything, even though it's so um, early in the day. Uh, it does still look like kind of almost like no one lives there in yeah. a way. Yeah. Um, the windows are closed. The drapes are pretty much kind of closed and everything. Um, the yard still doesn't look like anything's been done with it very much. Mm-hmm. Um, it pretty much looks exactly like how you saw it before the first time. Okay. If he's in there strutting around in a pigeon costume, I'm going home. <laughs> well, <laughs> you're a kid. I hope we didn't go back out of that thing. I'm going there. to get my Polaroid. <laughs> That's true. Man, I wish there was like some sort of like... <sighs> You know, system that connect everybody via computer, and we could share that picture everywhere, and everyone would laugh at him. And yeah, you're about, awesome. you're about ten years early on that. Early on that. <gasps> Time traveler. <laughs> sure, big head. So, what do you guys do? Well, hop off and start walking on up. Okay, I own this place now. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, bird dude. Okay, good luck. It doesn't seem to be an answer. Oh, he's there. Hello. <laughs> Get here, like a window. Yeah. Uh, yeah that's, that's a window, right? Step back. Yeah, you kind of step Don't back. Don't get a piss on here. Moss on. It's kind of like, what are you losers doing? <laughs> losers? She's, what? She's actually got like, she's like laying out the window. <laughs> with a scar. With a scar. Hey, what you say? What are you throwing? What are you throwing? She's been throwing like crazy. <laughs> she's got issues. She, apparently. This is the niece? Yes. yes okay. the niece. Oh, all right. What you guys come up and have yourself a nice little talk. What are you doing here? <laughs> I got some more of this. <laughs> I have made galoshes for all of you. She closes the window and she comes down and lays one in. What are you doing? Who do you call losers? Oh, well, one, two, three, four, five. Five of you? It's like five of you. You never met her. You don't even know if she's cool. Well, she's she cool. with you. She's I'm cool. Too cool. Hey, you hung out with us. No, you can't even broke into my house. That's kind of a hanging out in your house. <laughs> <laughs> so, therefore, you're a loser, too. So that makes us all cool. So, yeah, since we're all cool, and I can't... Uh, you're, 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 you're lucky Bola didn't bite you. Oh, that dog. Oh, <laughs> dog. Can you, can you hear the dog upstairs? <laughs> Jeez. So, Holly, was your uncle there, or...? Yeah, he's here. Okay. Why? She's like, what? Why? Oh, we got other strange crap going on. But you know, we're not cool, so we can't talk about it. You know, robots and children sold and sucked away. <laughs> are you telling me you guys are getting in trouble again? It's not trouble. No, they're gonna be bringing the cops over here. No, the no, they wouldn't listen to us. Yeah. All right. Well, hold on. She closes the window. And- Oh. You can, he likes us. Oh, you can hear the dog she, bark. She's the door she's a, she's cool. Yeah, okay. <laughs> she's like the niece, and she was. Oh, I'm Cassie. <laughs> wow, that's, that's an early age, too. Yeah. All right, where's your noise down, Rob? Come on. Uh, you can't do it right there. Snooze <laughs> online. Oh, oh, my God. God. I'm seamless. <laughs> Mike's gassy. I mean, the panty bird just came right off. He's had a really old guy moment. Oh, okay. <laughs> Gassy. All right, we're playing, we're playing teenagers in the oh, I'm gassy. Gassy. <laughs> So, sorry. We're looking for her uncle because he was like putting microchips and birds yeah, and attacking yeah, the bird people. Guy. Yeah, so we said we're going to break in his house and find out what's going on. And she was living here. And then, Apparently she still is. Yeah, yeah, and she almost attacked us with her giant dog that she rode into battle. She's probably doing that now. She's probably into yeah, she's, she's probably riding it down the steps. Shooting up the dog. <laughs> Kelly oh, Grammer and eat the brains. Oh, and she's like a ninja. I mean, she knows how to fight and everything. I mean, it was it was toe to toe, but we were 
We were all right. We convinced her. We were. How bad did she kick your ass? Pretty good. Yeah. Yeah. About that time, the door opens up. Oh, it jumps. Yeah. 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 Paul is running out and they stop. Ice cream like a schoolgirl. Yeah, he comes over to Johnny first and kind of barks and everything. Kind of sniffs at you. Kind of sniffs at you too. And then he kind of goes over and he takes a longer time. He's like, oh, well, well, who are these two people? I don't remember these two people. <laughs> <laughs> oh, whose crotch is this? <laughs> no P-words. <laughs> um, mods are, I'm just going to call it Madge. I just got that. Thank you. Right Madge. 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 <laughs> Seven packs a day. I'm mad. <laughs> I've been really making the chain go. And you guys hanging down the bowling alley or what? <laughs> <laughs> I'll see you there. Yeah, see you like, <laughs> don't say the beetle word. Beetle juice. No, don't say it. <laughs> and she kind of goes, ball and get off of them. She kind of grabs and kind of so goes, sit, sit. Or anything. <laughs> She kind of puts out the cigarette, kind of throws it around everywhere. She, she smokes. She's so cool. <laughs> what are you talking about? Huh? Oh, no, again, so what are you talking about? about? Nothing. It's just it's cool. I smoke all the time, too. So what <laughs> tour are you guys in now? I got a kid trapped in the robot. Yeah. What? Yeah. Why are you for real? Yeah, for real. Yeah. We were, we're looking yeah. for this body. Yeah. We didn't find it, but we found a real dead body. Okay, so someone didn't explain this to me other than Johnny. Oh, come on! I'm so <laughs> not to feel it far off the truth. I mean, yeah. that's what happened. All right, so we go by this farmhouse, right? And there's this little robot, yeah. like a little kid robot. And it waves at us. And then we go look we'll for a dead body. That's beside the point. We find a mannequin that wasn't a dead body. So we come back, and there's one of those penguin machines across the street in a field. It's all shut down. So later on, we sneak in, find the hatch that opens, and inside, it's like somebody dug a basement in it. Like it goes down into the ground. So we went down in and there was a real body. One of the scientists got like fried. It was just like crispy, extra crispy chicken sort of thing. I pull out my sketchbook. <laughs> yeah. My dad, my dad, just like that. Yeah, yeah just like that. But it, was <laughs> <the wallet. laughs> but it was weird because there's like two little pods in there, right? And one of them is empty. And the other one has this kid in it. And he's like sound asleep, and it looks like a cryogenic pod, like it, if he's in some sort of. Wait, wait a minute, you morons! Why are you going to police with this? We did. They didn't believe us. Yeah, well, kids, what do you expect? Oh, so we oh, talked to the man. parents. Yeah. This kid went missing like two years ago in the swamps. They called, they considered him dead. Well, the parents of that kid live in that house with the little robot. They say they, the dad says he found the robot, and like took it in because the, the mom was like missing her kid and this was like a, a kid like a surrogate son so he just kept the robot well johnny got to looking at this manual yeah and him and magnus found out that like this thing trans trans does like swaps brains or personality yeah. or brain waves and we're thinking that kid is the kid that went missing and the scientist had this little robot, right? And took the kid and put his mind in the robot and then died. And the robot must have wandered off and they found him because he probably he just died. died. He went back home. Well, no, he got left his guy. He's all fine. Yeah. He was working on something and he's like, yeah. yeah. hopefully you want to talk to your <laughs> uncle because he may have parts and can look at the manual and make sure we're doing the right thing. Before we fry the kid. Because we're, we're thinking... We're you want to come this. check it out? Well, sure, you don't yeah. believe us. Yeah. I believe you, but... You really want my uncle's help? Why? He's a scientist. Oh, well, yeah, but... He's a bird he's scientist. He's still getting over. I mean, he took off for a couple of weeks to get his shit to, uh, his stuff together. And... Ooh, you said shit? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he's so, so cool. cool. Yeah. You know, he just came back, and he was a little bit better, but he's still, huh, he's still kind of out of it. Well, that's like getting back into something. You know, scientists... You know, maybe it's his rival that's laying dead and crying on the ground. It might make it feel a lot better. It might be his friend. Yeah, he might that know this dude. Or it might be his friend. He'll be really depressed yeah, and he'll go into a deeper slumber. He's probably dude, him. shut up. Does oh, he sorry. know uh, Xander Ingalls? Yeah, the Ingalls. Well, I don't know Xander Ingalls. Why didn't ask if you did? I asked if your uncle did. Well, I guess we'll have to find out. Well, yeah, let's find out. Get you, Peter. <laughs> 
Where'd you find her? <laughs> so she, she was here when we broke in. <laughs> and she's a friend from school. So she's really good at BMX biking. Yeah. It's, it's a, it's, you guys don't love He's each other. He's not paying attention. He's looking at the dog. Look at the dog. All right, well, just anytime they're talking about you being a female, he's not paying attention for any reason. <laughs> yeah. Not on purpose, it's just the way it's working out. Uh, all right, we can go talk to uh, Gilmer, but just keep it down, keep it easy because I don't want to. We're break easy, it out. I'm really well, easy. Just, I'm the easiest guy here. Why don't we just tell him we found this truck, we found this tech manual, we want to know it's more. True. We won't <laughs> even bring up the kid, yeah. We'll just say that we right, found well, we this technique. See, we can see how it goes. I mean, I don't hate any. I mean, you can maybe tell them the whole story. I'm just saying, just be not like him when you tell it to him. What? Yeah, hey, What's hey, hey, yeah, be quiet. You might upset him. How? Be, be loud and obnoxious. I'm loud and obnoxious? <laughs> You're American. Oh, I'm an American. Uh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It was where I was raised. America. America. Oh, America. Oh, oh bless my Oh, look, we just got a man. Again? Yeah. yeah, that's like four oh, times. How dare you slander America? I slander America. America. We're from here. We can do that. Yeah. So he's just like, all right, well, come on in. Come on, boy. And she kind of turns and hey, everybody. go on it. Oh, hey, these guys are bothering me. That fucking dog talk. <laughs> oh, oh. Have you got a microchip in his brain? brain right? <laughs> <laughs> the box is Iodi. Oh, <laughs> that's another P word. Gotta watch it. Real close. Uh, you kind of hear out, Uncle, Uncle. <laughs> I give up. Oh, sorry. <laughs> because uh, there's some uh, going. some people here. I just walked back in. I don't know. No. You do close down TikTok? Well, I have to close it off my phone because it makes that slow down. Uh, oh. I'm running the internet off my phone to run that. You know, if you hook that one up to a squirrel uh, wheel. <laughs> right? And a a scroll? Yeah, you say scroll? Uh, maybe a dribble. Yeah. Scroll. You know, like that car that you used to have that ran it. Oh, oh, my Geo. I thought you meant like the, the Marvel character. Yeah, yeah. The scroll. I <laughs> 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 hook that up to a scroll. You <laughs> won't even know. <laughs> You'll be dead, aren't you? You'll be dead. You know, like, all through the secret invasion stuff is crap. I didn't even run TikTok. <laughs> It, it just thinks it's a cow. You just got me running around in circles. You go on inside, and yeah, it's so just like it was before. It's the uncle in the kitchen, puts the bottle of whiskey down, takes his head out of the oven. What? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, he's a lot better. <laughs> oh, it's you guys again. They sit the same. Turns it up. Will you like me? <laughs> oh, that was uh, kind of goes into the living room and everything, and you can see Guru there. And he's just kind of laying down on the couch. The TV is kind of on, playing just some drool yeah, over my wrist, you know. One of the two channels, you know, that you get. To. Let's see. In the eighties, it probably would have been that one with the Return to Innocence playing. <laughs> Is that not a famous Swedish show? No, it was just the thing that was already happening yeah. here in the middle of the night. Um, they do get some. What about Televisa? Are these really on then? No. no. Oh, okay. <laughs> Uh, version. <laughs> Where's the beef? <laughs> uh, so he's just kind of—he's not even watching the TV. He's just kind of like laying on the couch there and just kind of aimlessly, just kind of like, uh, like that, you know. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> she, she, she kind of comes in and everything. He kind of, kind of just like, oh, what, what is it, you know? And then he kind of looks up and is like, oh, what's up? It's you guys. Hey, what's going on, buddy? <laughs> <laughs> How are you? Yeah, man. Who's he? Oh, this is this is like my best bud. My best friend. Yeah. Oh, well, all right. And this is the lover. Hey, whoever. Hello. Nice to meet you. <laughs> yeah. How you doing? Yeah. You don't look so great. I mean, you're kind of laying on the couch. I mean, better. <laughs> Madge is just like, oh god. Just give him the book. Yeah. yeah. What? We <laughs> got this book shirt. What book? It's like a tech manual. That one. You ever see anything like that? I'm kind of curious as to what it's all about. It kind of, kind of flips through it and everything. So yeah, this looks like something we find at the loop. Yeah. Why? Where'd you get this at? Out in the loop. Hmm? <laughs> Out in the field. Mm -hmm. 
under a penguin. <laughs> oh, you mean uh, uh, one of those things, the measurement things? Yeah. 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 But it's not activated. Yeah. That book was there. Someone dug a basement under it. Probably some tech service guy dropped it or something like that. Nah, this, this, this guy? This, no, this is a lab. <laughs> yeah, show him the wallet. Uh, this, was, this was a lab. There's um, a dead guy in it. A lab with a dead <laughs> Victor guy. just kind of... Okay. You're going to do this tactfully. We are! So there's a lab under the penguin with the fried scientist Dude. and a kid in the cryo tube. Yep. Yeah, you know an eagle oh, guy? Oh, man, it's so guy, so early. <laughs> <laughs> it's like three and a half. Uh, uh, hey, the I best way guys. forward is to charge ahead. That's what Chuck Norris would do. You've never been in love, kid. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Not with Chuck Norris. Yeah. Okay. I guess. Yeah, you, you know, you, you kids just don't understand anything, okay? You know, you, you, my, my heart is just broken right now, okay? So what do you want from me? What do you, what do you, what do you want from me? Well, you want to help save this kid. Is he really a kid? Yeah. Here, show him the wallet. That's not the kid. I know, but that's the dude. Maybe What's you know the, the dude. Wallet? It's the dead guy's wallet. It's the dead guy's wallet. Who's the dead guy? Angles. 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 Can that first name? Xander. L Lorna Angles. <laughs> huh? Laura Angles? Laura Angles. Yeah. That's where the field was. Oh, no. that on the prairie? That's <laughs> on the prairie. It's on the prairie. He was wearing a dress and he's running down the field. <laughs> <laughs> he had the cutest little brain. Yeah, he did. He did, he did. <laughs> Okay, uh, go ahead if you want. You can try and uh, either empathize or charm with them. Uh, I don't have empathize. Thing? I'll try empathize. Oh, or I just him. You got a shit. I want to charm. Whoever, whoever is going to try some, you have to tell okay. them what I have four. Yeah. Who has the highest charm? Not everyone, not everyone rolls. No, I'm so, not. I'm I know, but who has the highest charm? So you no. take your stat in of the skill? Yes. yes. Right. So what do you got? I have mind of four and empathize of three. Oh, jeez. You're, you're, so, you're a seven dice. <laughs> it's been so slight. Seven dice. <laughs> That's why he's a weirdo. <laughs> you're a psychologist. What are you talking about? <laughs> P word. Tell me about your, family, your mother. I'll tell you, so tell me what you're doing. Okay, so. You can drop you, the You can lead it as part of the conversation. Yeah, or you can just, just tell me. Whatever. I'm basically going to say. Look, I know that you're really upset about that lady that thought that didn't really treat you well. She didn't really like you that much, I guess. And That's I, good. I'm sorry yeah. about that. But this kid, his parents think he's dead, and they have this robot, which we think is the kid's brain in that robot, and we want to get it back to the kid so we can reunite him with his parents. I and mean, that's real love, man. Yeah. The parents love the kid, and I think they really, really miss him, especially the mom. So if we could give them their kid back instead of this little robot, the For kid real. would be happier, too. You know what, man? He can't you know see. love exists in this world somewhere. Um, as you kind of manage, that's an after school special. Give me a tissue. <laughs> Madge kind of goes, What? <laughs> yeah. You were feeling bad too about what you did and everything. Oh, this could help a little bit, maybe. Yeah. Doing some good. So you go ahead and roll and you get an extra dice because Madge. Uh, Yay! Hooray! Oh, oh my goodness. Hey. One six. Oh, out of all that. <laughs> out of all that. But it's it's a six. Yep. yep. And that's all you need. So she actually helps you out. So, um, he goes. All right. So, so who's who's the guy again? Xander Ingles. Uh, he's the dead guy. Yeah, he's extra crispy. He yeah, out. yeah. He used to work at the Loop when I was there. He's not there really? no more. All right. Yeah, he was. Did uh, he get fired? Yeah. Well, <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> <laughs> he was there for uh, cyrogenics, but uh, cyrogenics exactly. Cyrogenics, but um, he kept meddling around in biomechanics for some reason, and they kept 
we kept telling him that it wasn't his fucking, you know, it wasn't his job. And, uh, you know, and then he started talking about him. He had a crazy idea about being able to. Oh, I oh, don't know. Yeah, transfer. Yeah, transfer. Uh. Consciousness? They do answers to a machine. Well, he friggin' did it, dude. Did. The kid's and like a robot, but he's kind of there. And these people, the kid went missing, and they thought he went down to the swamp and died. But he's in this cryo tube. I bet this. And the robot acts like a little him. kid all the time. Took and even the mom took him in, thinking like, "Reminds me of my son Oscar." But right, something so, happening. So, what, so what's what this, this book then? Is this from? It was his manual on this workstation. It, it was in there. So the workstation. We just want to make sure we do it right. Yeah, we gotta put and the then there's like together. it's all like on fire and like burnt, and there's like parts missing. I know Matt, uh, our friend, you know, pretty you remember, few, few pieces are fused into the guy's hand. We're not real sure though. Okay, well that's not good. No. Yeah, but Magnus was gonna look at it. He thinks he can fix it, but we're not sure. I mean, we got the right parts. And we stuff. gotta make sure we do it right, and we need the robot back. So we gotta well, get that I robot. Look this, but you I mean you probably should take this probably to Rick's Energy. I mean, oh, sure it'll be able to help the kid. Someday or something like that, you know. Right. Yeah, but you really think they would? We could do it now. Well, not for a while. I mean, they're not gonna yeah. touch his stuff, you know. I mean, hell, I am not. I am not, not exactly biomechanics. I'm cybernetics and stuff. Yeah, but, but cybernetics are robots, and so a little bit. Sort of. Yeah. All right. Well, I can look over. I mean, what? What were you? You know, he basically kind of looks through the thing mm -hmm. with you and everything. So. Right. Um. Basically, yeah, I mean, you can kind of give an idea. You kind of already had an idea. He right, but it reaffirms it. Yeah, he just kind of reaffirms a little bit and everything and kind of tells you, well, you're going to want to do this first. You're going to you're gonna want to fix this electrical problem first. With a, yeah, I was going to say, with a tech and a tinker, it's tech, right? Does he have any parts? Or no, we tech and part? tinker. Uh, uh, tech, would I be able to tinkering? describe to him which parts we think we need the, that we're it just needs to be wired in, but yeah, basically, yeah, he can he can kind of tell you. Well, he he can't really tell you too. He doesn't know about like electricity and stuff like that. But that's where kind of Magnus and or anyone with tinkering, you know. Mm -hmm. I have tinkering. So, mm -hmm. but yeah, he kind of goes over a little bit and kind of confirms you what know, you were reading. You know the right stuff like put that inside the toaster oven. Mm -hmm. Toaster. Right. What do you have the toast? Yeah, he put the salad fork. You sit the fork and you're like touch it while it's plugged in and ah. Yeah. I didn't know it's powered. Right. That's the best way, yeah. But it's a salad fork. No, no, Do you want to help us or anything? Or? Oh, I don't know. I mean, not really. <laughs> Just think of the joy you'll feel when that little kid comes right on back to his mom and dad's arms. Yeah. Or what if he burns up? Well, then we're all fucked. We don't, we don't tell anybody. Yeah. Right. We just, yeah, you better stay here on the sofa. Yeah. It's just <laughs> Never mind. Never mind. Never mind. one dead scientist in that place. Well, we're collecting dead scientists. Yeah. 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 Might solve your problem. Would you like to donate? Would you like, <laughs> would you like to learn more? <laughs> would you like to hear our Lord and Savior, the deadly penguin? He goes, hey, really, you should you really probably should go to the authorities. I mean, as an adult, that's what I'm telling you to do. Yeah, we're, we're not I really, that. I don't know. I just, I, I, I'm going to go get myself a drink. You guys want something? Sure, I'm for <laughs> I'll take like whiskey. You take vodka straight or you want to mix with orange juice? You know? No, that's our cue to go. Come on, guys. <laughs> my mom would kick my ass. So, uh, he kind of gets up and kind of wanders off, you know. And hey, I'll say, like, hey, man, thanks for helping us out. You're doing a good thing. You are a good dude. You think so? I know so. Yeah, man. Yeah. What Egghead says is true. I'm going to give him a hug. But I don't know. He goes, I don't know. He it. Okay, yeah, yeah. All right. Well, I'll go over and give her a hug. I see. It worked well. <laughs> She put the cigarette out of my eye. It's like the dog. Or like this. <laughs> she goes, hey, I told you. I mean, he's a work in progress, okay? Yeah, but that's cool. What can we do to help? Oh, I don't know. Apparently, you've already got something else to do. But maybe some other time we can figure something out. Awesome. We'll be back. Oh, shit. <laughs> she opened the door. I gotta look at you. I think Johnny has been in love. Ow. Let's go save a child. 
chow. Chicka chow. All right, well, be careful, guys. Still getting you in trouble. Slam. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Okay, right. Colin, remember Johnny. Attack. 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 Balls. Balls. <laughs> I haven't dropped yet, thankfully. You may will. Over there. Over there. So hey, where's the door? Oh, it works. <laughs> that drop right now. Okay. So, hi TikTok. Unless there's something else you guys want to do, I guess I can monitor TikTok. Yeah. I don't know if you can. You can monitor the chickens. I can monitor the chickens and spray chickens. chickens. We're on TikTok. No wonder we got banned. TikTok. Damn it. They're talking about eggs again. <laughs> <laughs> I love cracking eggs. We're only scratching the surface. Oh, oh, oh my! I'm just winging it. Oh, oh, I don't give a clock line. about you guys. <laughs> <laughs> right in the pecker way. Oh, oh there he's going. That's only fans. <laughs> oh, oh. The mighty Togar has joined. Hey, I know who that is. Oh, that guy. Togar. <laughs> We are banned. Sheesh. <laughs> Sheesh. Sheesh joined in. All right. <laughs> Hello. All right. So what's next? You're going to let him try to read these things? Yeah. <laughs> yes, because it's going to be more, way more amusing. Uh, <laughs> well, I guess we should go get Magnus and head to the left. Okay. Yeah. Let's do that. Yeah. Uh, let's do I that. I'm supposed to be looking at no, nobody's really commenting right now. Okay. So I think they were, but I fell off because my phone started chunking along. So yeah. Okay. Yes. All right. Rob so. fell off the wagon for a meeting. <laughs> oh, fuck you guys. Hey, everybody. Right. You never loved me. So you guys got to the part now where you're going to do extended trouble. Yep. Thank you. Yeah. Unless there's something else you need to do, you're actually going to get down to it. Yep. Get down to it. Now, if you remember, this is how... Uh, extended trouble works. Um, Everybody takes off your pants. Yeah. But Mike just got a on. It's all right. <laughs> Mike actually wore some tonight. It was amazing. Oh, I dropped my prostate. So. <laughs> That's why he put all it All right, whose prostate is who this? The a medium, medium trouble. Yeah. So Come basically, in. it's a medium you trouble. Two points, two successes for each participant. Like the spaceship. Two, four, four, six, eight, ten. You're going to need ten successes. And what? In the combination, you're going to do a comedy. You're going to narrate what you guys are going to do. Okay. Okay. And you're going to decide who's going to do what, or you're going to decide what needs to be done, who's going to do it, who's going to help. Sometimes you may not have enough people or enough stuff to do for everybody to roll, so someone might help and just explain how they're going to help. And you're going to basically narrate what you're going to do. Okay. And everything. Right. I'm and going to make a roll. Machine. And then we'll see. Okay. Now, there's three possible outcomes. If you get five or under, you totally fail. Um, oh. And I'll let you know. If uh, if the kids fail to get half, half something horrible goes wrong, the workstation or the electrical panel set off a series of sparks shutting down the main power and opening both pods without any transfer taking place. Oscar will still be alive, but that cyrogenic pod will no longer keep him safe and he must be removed to a hospital to lie in a coma, okay? Uh, Oscar the robot will still be alive as well, but will no longer currently have a way back into his own body. So that is what happens if you fail, mm. okay? Now, so there's the compromise. Oh, if you get half of it, but you don't get all of it, um, at this point, uh, you can attempt to do your pushes and or your pride or whatever you yeah. need to, to get it more, to get further up. Uh, if you still don't meet the requirements, the experiment fails, but the machinery is not damaged. Perhaps in the future you could attempt again. However, they will suffer. Loading. Can, you will suffer conditions it's for the failure. Phone internet. I can't. Uh, in addition, the, you will suffer a permanent condition regarding this scenario and may attempt may not attempt it again until something has changed. Okay. So you can't just get halfway there and then say, well, let's just try again. Yeah. You're going to have to do something. You're going to have to raise skills. You're going to have to talk to somebody else right. that knows more. You know, basically, it'll be another, like, story adventure. Right. Thing. Uh, and then there's the excess, obviously, and that will be where the transformation will take place and you will help out Oscar and everything. So. <clears throat> Wade's on. Hey, Wade. Hey, Wade. Hey, Wade. Hey, Wade. Uh, so. We're just starting extended trouble. <laughs> Sounds kinky. Uh, oh. 
to give you an idea since not all of you have done this before and it's been a long time since we played the first one so you're gonna like i said you're gonna figure out how you're gonna solve this and how you're gonna do this what actions everybody's gonna take uh i'm throwing in the whole getting oscar out yeah because you're gonna have to sneak him in so that will be part of it so someone will have to do that well um, um just to remind you, I don't know if this will happen or not, but I, as we were leaving, I told Oscar the robot, so just meet us over there at 8 o'clock or whatever. That's right. So um, so that that is a task that can be done. Uh, I kind of already stated before with the, the electoral point, you, uh, you, someone had to have two successes for that. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, understanding the workstation, uh, someone can roll calculate. To kind of figure out what's going on. Mm -hmm. uh, there's also someone can be operating uh, the workstation, which is programming. Um, you can also use some other stuff. I will go ahead, like keeping Oscar calm could be a task. Okay. Um, getting Oscar there to the to the penguin could be a task. Uh, there's also helping. If you can't find a task, you can help someone. They get an extra dice. Okay. And then uh, there's also, just so you remember, there's lead, taking charge. Okay. Someone can try and roll, and what that does is that creates a pool dice that you can give to other people, whoever is leading. Okay. So, so and it's up to you guys, and you can come up with other, if there's other ideas, you can come up with, you can kind of do it, you know, just state it, and we'll see what if that, if you, okay. if that's plausible or not. So, Let's, uh, we need to take a break real quick and do a potty and smoke break before we do this. Okay. We'll be a lot yeah. of thinking going on. Sure. And then I can try anyway, to we want to get talk to get it going a little yeah. bit better, too. So, we're trying to figure out what's so, going on. So, now with everybody, is, sorry. Yeah, just, yeah, yeah. So, we're going to take a quick intermission, yeah. folks. We're not going to stop the feed, but yeah. we're just going to let it go. And uh, we're going to. Let guys do their thing. Yeah, potty yep. and. and <laughs> I'm going to use potty. I'm going to roll for potty. We'll be back. Potty, P work. We'll be back to see if we kill children. Yeah. Success going to push taking scared condition. Got a short that popped and spark, and I was hooked up to the power. Reroll three success for a total of four. Okay, okay, yay, Wade. Hey, okay. good job, Magnus. <laughs> Just working its part in the narration of what you're doing in what order and everything is going on. So, okay. okay, what is it we got to do now? We got to rule soon. We got to talk figure about out, figure out, what, figure out what you're going to do and who's doing what. Oh. All right. So who's going to go after the robot? Let's start that first. Well, I, I, I got a pretty high body and um, uh, either move or force. So do I. So um, maybe the two of us try to. Um, Sneak would probably sneak. be a better one. Well, sneak to start. Yeah. I don't have a high sneak, though. I, I don't have a sneak. Uh, no, 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 I'm, 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 I'm going to be rolling yeah. five dial. Together. No, I'll be rolling five on a sneak in it also, so that, that I guess that works. Five, yeah. So, okay. So him and I are going to sneak to get the 
What else other skill do we need for the? Well, let's see. Uh, you'll do the sneak and you'll get him out. Right. Okay. So what else? Because you want to try and contribute as many rolls as you can. Right. So, um, Mike, you probably are going to have to do the program, the running the workstation. Okay. Right. Yeah. Running it. Okay. Yeah. Then that's programming. So once we get the robot there, and so Wade will be there well, with him to do. Team Wade, team. Wade will have to do. So uh, you guys, since getting the Oscar out will be the first thing. Right. Okay. So Obviously, before we do the workstation, mm -hmm. I can we'll have to fix the thing. Right. Which he can be doing that over yeah. sneaking. The... Wade, we're getting quite an echo, so I'm gonna I'm gonna pause the speaker one there. Unless you want to mute the uh, feed, but then you can't hear us. I guess. <laughs> I want my dog. Oh, so, so while we're sneaking the robot, then they, he can be working on the panel. Yeah. And since so I have a high... He'll do, he'll do the workstation. So what else so, you guys... So once once we get him sneaked out, then I've got a high mood to be able to help get him over to the penguin. So do I. Okay, you, gotta use, that's, that's you, can, you can use your skateboard for that. <clears throat> yeah. I just get you up to the phone. I my, have my, uh, ear their way. a pretty good mind and investigate. Can I help them find a... a what about good way to get into the house? So okay, but we'll tell her happy birthday from like all of us. There's an open cellar uh, door. And, or... uh, uh, oh, we'll see you soon. Um, or an open yeah. window. Okay, yeah. Yeah. Like charm all right, later. Okay. Bye, Wade. No, Bye. I have Bye. heart of three. See you later, Wade. Three. I have lead of one. I don't have charm, though. <clears throat> okay. Um, yeah, I guess you'd have, that's probably, uh, you could probably do that. Uh, try to figure out a way to get him and everything. To get into him, because that's what they want to do, right? Is get into yeah. the house and get the robot. That's why we're seeing him. Yeah. Yeah. So. Well, as far as keeping Oscar calm, I have a mind of four and an empathize of three, or a heart of four and a charm of one. So I can keep Oscar kind of calm and uh, quiet or whatever. You mean the kid or the robot? Well, the, the, the robot. Kid. Well, the kid, either one. I think the robot will be fine, but yeah. When the kid well, well, he's not, no, the robot is the kid, though. Oh, nice. Um, let me see what all her. Uh... <clears throat> so I can use one of those to. Oh, well, actually... charm is through heart, so you can use your heart and your charm right together. So that gives me five dice. So yeah, so you could do that. Okay. Yeah. So I'll I'll try and keep Oscar occupied. Keep him from. Throwing a tantrum or getting confused or anything right. like that. Right. Kind of explain so, to him what's going on. Perhaps when you get down, <laughs> we're going down on the area there. Yeah. If you want to go see the rabbit or up on that. Yeah. Uh, we're going to go see the rabbits. We well, can tell him that, but he's going to have to come down where the body and his own body is. That's when I'll have to talk him through it. Yeah. Oh, okay. when he actually gets, gets down there. And when he gets maybe down we can there, cover so the other pod in the body or something. Now when he gets down there, he's just like, well, it's all of you know. Yeah. Yeah. And I still walk him through it. Yeah. Like, we need oh, yeah. to get in here. Okay. So you got to sneak. You got the move or the, the plan. Sneak, move. Um, what about prepping the other pod for, does it need to be adjusted or whatever for? Yeah, that'd be me. Not really. We'll just, we'll just say it's small ones there. Yeah. Okay. Um, you'll be calming him down. Magnus and we'll be fixing the break. And Johnny will be the man with the button. Yeah. <laughs> uh, once we, oh, once we yeah. get to that point, button. I have a container of two. I don't know if I can uh, maybe assist in some way. Yeah, because you're already doing something. Because I have calculated as well. Well, so. I mean, once we get to but that. But if you're assisting, all you're doing is adding in a dice. Right. What's your thought? Yeah, once we get down there and they're figuring out tinker and stuff, I can throw in a dice too. Well, no, no. So kind of, yeah, once you've got your part of the plan, that's that's it. That's your contribution. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. So you all do your part. You know, you don't you can't break away and do something else later. You know? Even when the part ends, you can't pick up another yeah, part. You, yeah, you're oh. you're all just it's all kinda like just that, that montage. Everybody's got their so, role. You know. Maybe so we need less people going to get the robot then. We need more people who are working. Maybe down I don't know. I mean that's why I would think. Everybody right I now, got, everybody's, got, know, a, right right now, everybody's to to... got a full role. Right, right. So that's, yeah. that's good right there. There's only the opportunity for more success. <laughs> yeah. Okay, all right then. So, so we don't need to change anything right now. So, um, now, since Magnuson did roll, I'm counting him as an extra person. So it's now 12. Mm -hmm. got that 12 points. Okay. And we've already got four because of Magnus. Right? Yeah. So... 
So go ahead and uh, start. We'll narrate the first part of it. What uh, what are you, how are you guys kind of tell the story to me? What's you tell me what's going on? Uh, All right, I was going to start by looking around the house to get so them into the house. Or make our way to the house, right? And and you can just make something up. Let her be reconnaissance, basically. Uh, you, you know, uh, he will be by that window and everything. So. We, we know where his bedroom is, yeah, so where yeah. he's got his charger Ladder. and stuff is. So, yeah, I thought I would look around for to see if there was a way in and maybe if his window was open or if there was a cellar door that was unlocked or if there was a ladder that could get us up to that window. I'm pretty good about sneaking in and out of windows. Okay. <laughs> so, so basically, yeah, you can find, uh, you can, uh, he's there at that window. So he could, you could convince him to open up the window and everything. Oh, okay. You yeah. Know, and, and you can just narrate that story <laughs> to me and what you, what you kind of plan to do, you know? I, this, this part is kind of different than what most role playing is yeah. rather than me telling you. Okay. So you what know, I want to do. You want to kind of narrate yeah, what you, what you want to do. Down. You're a okay. DM. All right. So what I want to do is, okay, he's at the window. I want to. If he's at the window and I see him at the window and you can get him to open the window, mm -hmm. um, we have to get up to the window. So I want to look around. Uh, there has to be a ladder because it's a there's, there's at least something around ropes so that um, we can lower him. These guys can lower him down from the window okay. so he doesn't have to climb down the ladder. Okay. So we, um, I would go around and find the ladder and the ropes. So well, that we all would do that. Give yeah. me you guys. Well, it's in my, it's my investigate. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Gotcha. So. so that okay. my contribution, I guess. And then, so, and what's your part? My part is uh, helping set up the ladder to get it to mm -hmm. the window and waiting for her to convince him to open the window. Uh, just kind of communicating with you, okay, once the window is open, we'll go up and crawl up in there and, mm -hmm. and use our sneak to get in. And then man, tie him man, off man and handle him down. Him out the window with the rope and lowering him down. And okay. hopefully you're there to tell him what the hell we're doing. <laughs> so your main, your main thing is you're going to be sneaking in. Right. And, and getting him out. Getting him and, and setting him up to be lowered, yeah. Okay. And then you're going to be, be getting him on the skateboard and moving him out. So you'll probably be at the bottom of the yeah. ladder. Yeah, so you'll be waiting to help him. Yeah. So, and then... You'll uh, catch. I'll throw and you catch. <laughs> when you get I'll to the, the you pod, catch. you'll lower him down with the ropes and stuff. Yep. And then you'll be what you're going to be doing. Me? Yeah. Uh, rather than be at the house so there's not all these people around the house, mm -hmm. I'm going to be across the street. Yeah. So when you bring him over with the skateboard, I can kind of take him by the hand, calm him down, tell him we're going to go in here. It's a fun game, blah, 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 and kind of tell him... You know, we're gonna yeah, go tell play the rabbit more. This is where all the rabbits live. Well, yeah, that's where all the rabbis live. What? Yeah, I hate rabbis. That's something yeah. else that I want to investigate. Yes, find come it. on down. Um, it's very nice to see you. Any Victor cloth or tarps or something that might be hanging around so we can cover up the body and the uh, and the cryo. We can say you can do that beforehand. Okay. Yeah, you I know, mean, yeah, that's the stuff I'm looking for. Where yeah. that's what I'm investigating and looking for. Okay. Yeah, we'll say you guys can figure that out for me. So. so when he gets the penguin, I'll kind of calm him down, ask him questions, and kind of like, do you remember this place? Okay, it's, it's well, going to be kind of dark. Way. You're just not getting up in the... You know, there's feed. something down there, and I think it's going to help you. It's going to make you feel better. Mm -hmm. So, and then, and then you'll be kind of be able to play a lot more and stuff like that. So okay. kind of talk to him and get him down there. And when we get down there, try and avoid... If he's going to go over by the tarp, steer him away from the tarp and just kind of tell him, okay, now we're going to play a game. It's like hide and seek and get him in the cryo tube or okay. the cryo chamber and say, okay, now I need you to close your eyes and count to 20. Can you do that? And we'll, when we close him in there, see if he'll close his eyes and count to 20 so we, he's calm. Okay. And then... Pass it on. And then Johnny leaves. Yeah. And then Johnny <laughs> goes over there, Dr. Frankenstein <laughs> flips the switch. Deliver! Mm. Dr. Lizzie! How many total, how many <laughs> switches in total? And then while that's <laughs> going on, Magnuson fixes the machine and he's getting basically working the workstation and trying to figure out exactly get it all ready to go. Yeah. Okay. So. We are about ready to roll dice, and we're going to see what happens here. So what is it I'm rolling? So you're you're going to roll. You said investigate. You can fill my mind and investigate. Yeah. Okay. 
Investigate is one of my. Uh, I have that. So we can start to jump on that. Is that one, one time and we can do it one, 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 one in a row there. So we'll start with. Uh, These plus uh, lines that I circle. What? We'll Sorry. start with you. Yes. And we'll see what you get. So go ahead and roll your investigate. Yeah. And if sure. I remember correctly, did you already use. I already used uh, my pride. Pride. Oh. I haven't used anything else. Okay. Yeah, the three that you have circled are the ones that you got from your plan. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Then I want sixes, right? Yep. It's one. One. Okay. One six. You have one. Okay. So, yeah, you pretty much find basically what you need and everything, and you kind of get that all situated, and he's at the window. You get in to open it up. Yeah, Brian, do. I forgot. Um... What did Pride do? I forgot. Okay, so Pride is, uh, so what's your Pride? No. It's, Where is it? it's, it's, it's out statement. Oh. Oh, I'm better than, better than the best, yeah. Yeah. So if, if there's something that you can apply to that. Oh, okay. Then you can say, I'm going to use my Pride because I'm better than the best. Right. You know, that for you, that might be more like when you get into a fight with someone, you're actually a against someone else maybe right right it depends on how you explain it or how you think and i'll, I'll say yay or nay or okay. whatever but what that does is that gives you an automatic success but it also you also if have to take one of these um conditions right uh, not on no not on that one on pushing on yeah you know, the other one oh. the other one is pushing and pushing is where uh, basically, whether he, whether you get successes or not, if you don't like the roll, you can take the ones that aren't successes and you can re-roll. But you automatically suffer uh, oh, okay. a condition for it. So okay. I must have used a push because I got it set up. Oh, okay. So, and then there's also luck. Don't forget, luck allows you to re-roll one of the dice. Yeah, those are the yeah one of the dice that wasn't a success. Right. Right. So actually, you can use luck on that. I too. can still use luck. Yeah. Oh, you can. Yeah. Okay. So did you want? Did you want? No, because you could still use luck. Because I think how many okay. points of luck did you have? I have three. Okay, because I don't think you use more than one. I, I haven't used that. Points. I haven't yeah, used. I used yeah. one point of luck. I haven't used any luck at all. <laughs> so you can use luck. So you can re-roll one of those rolls and see if you can get another success. Okay, I'm going to use a luck. No. Nope. Okay. All right. That so you got one success so far. All right, this is me sneaking up in the room and tying off and beginning to lower. Yep. Mm -hmm. All right. Yeah. Oh, my God. Come on. I'm going to do a mic. <laughs> Ooh. Two. Two success. Wait. Okay. Do you want to do anything else different? Do you want to try and push? Do you want to use luck? Hmm. No, I guess I. Saying... Might as well use luck. I mean, you're not going to use it anymore. It's the end of the okay, end of I'll the luck. Yeah. 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 Nope. Okay. Close. Yeah. Very right. close. That's okay. So it goes over to you. <laughs> okay. Um, okay, so I've got. Uh, How many we got? A body of five. Do I use to use force or less than force? That's seven. Uh, okay, seven. okay. How many do we need? We'll say move. Okay, if you're going to use okay. the skateboard, I would say move, and then you okay. can add on your own. Okay. okay, and then the iconic is a plus two, and is that plus two dice? Plus two dice, Ooh. okay. Holy. Uh, I got one six for all that, so <laughs> I'm going to um, use luck. luck. That gives me a reroll one die. Yep. No, no, no. So I got, I got one. So eight. Eight. You want to try and push or? Yeah, I'll try for a push. Okay. So, how does that work, then? Okay, so uh, remove your one success. Okay. And basically, you get to re-roll everything else. And you will suffer. Let me see here. Uh, you can say you hurt yourself pushing. First, you got to check your condition. Okay. So tell us, tell us. Right, right now I uh, uh, upset from a previous thing. Okay. I've only got one condition off. Okay, so you already got one. Condition. And don't forget that that removes uh, that removes a die from you. Okay. Okay. Yeah. We have some. So 
Uh, so now you're going to, so you already had one condition. Yeah. So now you're going to take another condition to do the push. Right. Okay. Okay. So Sorry. what are you marking off? To explain to us uh, what's going on with you, man. Uh, <laughs> I'm, I'm scared uh, that um, I'm uh, not going to show, show myself off uh, the best to my yeah. compatriots. Uh, cause my, my pride is I'll conquer it because it's there. Okay. Uh, that's what my pride is. So it's, I don't want to fail. So go ahead and push. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. Hey. yeah. Wow. So now four. we're at 11. Oh, that is four. Oh, that is wow. Four. So that's five total then? Yep, including that first roll. Damn. Yeah. We're just, you just proved yourself up. Yeah, no kidding. Yeah. All right. So, uh, yeah, he just swerves around, gets him across the street. He just pushes it right to the grass. Does the ollie. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and apparently he's kind of, uh, Oscar's kind of like, woo. <laughs> so I don't think he's going to do right. He's going to be throwing me Yay. <laughs> So, all right. So, and then what did uh, uh, Wade roll? He four. rolled hit four. Yeah, four successes. Yeah. So one, two, three, four. Okay. So, and then uh, I still, I'm going to require that at least uh, you have a success since you're the one. Oh, the picture. <laughs> yeah. So, Magnuson gets the, the thing running. There's no more sparks. It's all hooked up. That your power machine comes on. You go ahead and make your roll. After you check your emails. Okay. Oh, Phil, Phil's wanting to watch us, so I'm just trying to get to us. Oh, really? Yeah. Uh, so, um... Thank you for doing my, my job. My works. <laughs> <laughs> At least I can screw up He's now. taking a photo of his rolls. <laughs> That was an awesome moment. Well, if you yeah, had a role, wouldn't was. you take there, a role? Yeah. There's, there, there, there's one t-shirt out there that it, it, it shows <laughs> right. a die, die 20 with a 20 and says, that moment when you make a roll and your DM goes, shh. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so I'm, I'm putting on the gloves. I'm going to use that. Go over here. By your right where your feet. By your foot. Put on the phone, you know, Norris, give me straight. on this. Norris, okay. give me straight. So, all right. So, what am I doing? By the power of Grayskull. Yeah, it's by the power of Grayskull. By the power of Red. So, is that my tech plus program or tech, or what am I using? Uh, I think it's the tech of Red, isn't it? Under there. Uh, da, 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 da. Yeah, uh, it's under. Uh, this, this is running it, so. So, you're rolling your tech and your program, right? Program? Mm, yeah, tech and program. All right, so I have five dice in that. All right. Now, if I use my focus, right, that gives me a reroll. Your what? Your focus? What's that? Your pride? <laughs> my pride. What's your pride? I already used my pride, but doesn't my... Well, go ahead and roll first. Okay. Right. Nothing. You got nothing. I got nothing. Okay. Uh, so what is your pride? Have you, have you used it yet? I've used my pride. Okay, so you can't use that. But I could... My can luck. I use my you can try luck. My What's luck? your focus? Why do you keep saying focus? So isn't that like your gloves or something like that? Does that That's get... your iconic. Oh, oh your that iconic. gives you two extra dice. Yeah. Right? Why? Why is your gloves? Because certain words give to me, and it's like that's how I'm going to make it. I know, but it's more like it's the fight. Yeah. yeah. Probably. So now, not for programming. Okay. All right. That's where you have it, like putting it on. It's like I'm going to make this because Chuck Norris can do anything. Okay. So with these gloves, I can do anything. All right. So I'm, I can reroll one dice basically yes. with luck. Oh, man. Come on. No. Okay. So you can push. I can push. Okay. I will push myself. I'll lose one die and reroll everything. Yeah. So what's your condition? Uh. Okay. I'm. He gets kind of scared because he's like, if I don't do this, this kid's probably going to be. You don't have anything marked off. He doesn't have any conditions. Yeah, I don't have any right. Yeah, now. no, but he's going to take. A I'm going to take a oh, condition. Okay. Yeah. So he's scared because in order to so, he so knows he, he can do it. He, upset. I, yes. You start at the top, work your way down. Yeah. So that computer screen is starting to flash stuff, and you're like, oh, I don't know what the fuck that says. Oh, okay. So does that work your way down, or you can take anyone in You, you can take anyone you want. Okay. Oh. Okay. So I. He's Whatever gonna, it seems like the most logical. So right now he's getting scared because he's like, okay, if I don't do this right, uh, I'm going to 
kill this kid. <laughs> and yeah. I'm getting scared that I could go to jail. Uh, yeah. Everyone's going to hate me. So I'm getting yeah, scared. No, yeah. Is there any way any of us could help him with that? No, nope, because nope. you're all kind of doing yeah, your own thing right now. Okay. So I just re roll. <laughs> I re roll them, right? I'll tell you what. Well, no, because then I'd have to add if I if I had been in a hurry. Yeah, yeah, you'd yeah. have to add it to war. Yeah. Yeah. Technically, right now you'd succeed, but I need I want him to have one success at least. What's that? That is not a success. Oh. Can I try luck again? Oh my god. Uh, no, but that's no, it's, it's fine. You just there was just one other thing that you could have gotten out of this story wise, but you're not going to get it. Damn it. Okay. Uh, I got it now. <laughs> With the damn it roll. Yeah. <laughs> so, all right. So you guys all do your part. Uh, basically, you get him down there. You get him into the machine and everything. When he comes down, you, rolled, you basically kind of talk to him. Yeah, it's fine. Roll, but I didn't have to. Oh, you didn't even roll. Yeah, you, should, yeah. you, can, you can roll. We've got a success. But yeah. You can go ahead and roll. Let's just see. Nope. No, nope. it's gonna be okay. You ain't gonna die. <laughs> Just get in there, and close your eyes. I'm gonna kill you. You could still use lock though. Oh yeah, I could. Or push if you wanted to. Oh, could push. Yeah, I'll push. And it doesn't hurt if you actually get it's one, one success. Better success. Okay, you got one success. And I am going to take. I'm scared. I'm scared. <laughs> was that on a lock or was that on a push? That was push. push. Okay. So I'm gonna take scared. Mm -hmm. like, oh my god. What are you doing? Get in there. Close your eyes. It's going to be okay. Flash, 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 flash. It's going to be all right. It's going to be okay. You're going to live. You're going to live. It's alive. Okay. So uh, they, just, they just came back from an hour and a half bike ride. I just got tired from hearing that. Love the setup. The best. Yet I am old. So thank you, Ben. Yay. Yay. Yeah. So basically, uh, you kind of get your thing going. You're not too sure, but you finally kind of get something going on there. Yeah. There was something that kind of was on the screen before. It was like a list of like a, a like like a, a previous commands. Okay. And stuff like that. Like like a, it looked briefly like maybe something like a list of stuff that had happened beforehand, okay. but it came and it went so quick. Right. And I was scared anyway. Yeah, you were scared. And now, you, 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 even afterwards, alive. if you try to type it, you know, you're trying to like go back and... <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. You try and find you the log, what you're trying to say, and you can't find it anymore. It's just, it's like it deleted out. When mm -hmm. It's like almost when you started it, you rebooted it out. Curse you, succeeders! <laughs> so, but basically, yeah. I gotta feel like that. The panels start coming. <laughs> He's still um, thunder, yeah. Basically, you can thunder. hear the one cybergenic pod starts to kind of uh, <laughs> activate, and it basically starts to kind of bring him out of the cybergenic thing. <laughs> The trance, they're like, you don't see the transfer, but you can see like the electrical things, the way little light LED lights to show the old being transferred over. It's up. And basically, as it's, 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 it's filling that, uh, basically, that proton kind of like powers down everything, and the pod actually kind of shuts off everything, and then the pod lights up and everything. And Getting my tissue ready. After a few seconds, the, the pod door opens up and out walks. Arnold Schwarzenegger. <laughs> he walks a human fly. Oh no! There's a human fly. Jeff, we failed you. Uh, no. And then basically, Oscar, uh, Austin, the guy's up, and he he kind of kind of feels kind of oozy, like like he's been sick or something. He's like gonna be Yeah, and he probably does. He's gonna He's gonna roll. Sleeping sickness. So uh, after a while, though, he kind of kind of comes comes to and everything, and it's kind of looking around, kind of like, oh, hey, dude! I go over and give him a big hug. Yeah. Hey, okay, well, you give him a big hug. Yeah, probably yeah. like hugging probably naked babies huge. and bonds. Yeah, yeah. Weirdo. No, he still had his clothes. Oh, okay, yeah. good. Oh, okay. <laughs> probably a huge group hug. For yeah. Him. Yeah, we did it. You kind of all hug him and everything like that, and and uh, he. Yeah. He doesn't really oh, say a whole now. lot. He doesn't know too many words or anything like that, you know. I know he, they probably should, but yeah. Uh, he hasn't used them in years, you know, yeah. like two years. Yeah. So he's, he's a little kind of kind of strange or anything. Let's go home, kiddo. Oh, mommy, daddy. Yeah, we're going to go find yeah, mommy, mommy, daddy yeah, right we're now. Going. We're going let's right go, now. Let's go. Okay. Yeah. Uh, I'll, carry, I'll yeah. carry him out. Yeah. You kind I might get him out everything, yeah. and you kind of get him out. And yeah, we'll, we'll kind of make this part short. But yeah, you get him over, you wake up. 
uh, Hamish and Denise and everything like that. And as we, we're going over, it's like, what's our thing? We like saw some weird lights come from the penguin, and we went over there, and all of a sudden, we saw the body and this kid come out of it. No, we just found him in the woods. Yep, just he found him in the, in the swamp. Yeah, but what do you got to tell him about the body over there? We don't have to tell we him don't nothing. Have to about know nothing. It. We just close that thing up. They already know we were yeah. out here snooping around in the woods. Or we can close it up. Come back for the body and go to Lars's business. <laughs> <laughs> <Some> yeah! <laughs> <laughs> when his dad goes out there, what's this? <laughs> oh my god! We yeah. have a little note pinned to the collar that says signed Braun. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Thanks, because uh, I was getting teary, guys. I needed to. Of course, it's a picture idea. Yeah. <laughs> they were we'll get over there and everything. And uh, <laughs> they are, when they see them, they're kind of elated and uh, you know, everything. Oh, they're kind of elated? That's pretty cool. No, uh, yeah, I mean, they're yeah. ecstatic and everything like that. You want me to act it out for you? <laughs> Ball in your eyes. Yeah. We'll kind of come to the part, though, and they kind of explain what they kind of ask you what is going on mm-hmm. and everything. So, if you, are you going to try and tell them something different? I don't know. He Man always says honesty is the best policy. Right. So does G.I. Joe. Yeah. We should do it. Yeah. Yeah, we didn't spend all, all these lights going on the, the penguin, penguin. And, then, and like we saw we'd come back and then we go over there and there's a body in there and then we saw your kid coming out of the machine okay, that's all you hear yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay yeah okay so you kind of yeah, yeah. we just come take a true we'll take a deep breath and let the body go everything so at this point they as adults they are going to have to call the authorities yep right everything so uh i can give them the wallet now <laughs> okay you gotta give them the wallet and uh, they'll probably you know and then the authorities will come out basically there's uh not just the uh them but some other people, like but yeah, service tech this is from oh yeah Rick's energy yeah, yeah. stuff like that um there's a whole big thing going on no one's looking at you kid like you're in trouble right. or anything like that but they start asking you <laughs> Mm-hmm. You know, well, I'm kind of scared, so I'm like, "Am I in trouble? Am yeah. I in trouble? You're not going to tell yeah. my dad, right?" <laughs> <laughs> so you just kind of, they kind of get statements. They kind of talk to you. You can see the police are not just talking to you, though. They're also talking to these guys from Mike's Energy who are like looking right. around this place. Some of them are going down inside. They're trying. They're like, "What the hell is this?" And some of them are making, uh, "I got to go make a phone call." Uh, this ain't good, you know, yeah. and stuff like that. He used to live over there. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Uh, what's her name? Uh, Marie is there, everything, and she's probably the one that kind of like talks and kind of gets an interview with well, at least a couple of you. Statement. One of the other cops will take like the other three of you or something like that. Mm-hmm. Can I take your statement? Um, Told you. <laughs> but this time it is getting late at night and everything like that. Eventually they will call your parents. Okay, Oops. and they kind of explain that they need to come and pick you up. Oh, shit. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, now I'm really scared. Uh, yeah. yeah. Where, where's the bad? I'm so they kind of come and, yeah. Like, uh, you know, uh, Magnus's parents will come and pick him up and everything. Can and I eat bread with them? The cops will come pretty much explain to the parents. You can see them off to the side. They're uh, all the kids together. They just take the kid and the parent. And you see them talk to Magnus's parents and everything. And they'll probably kind of like, you know, they'll, they'll hold their son back or whatever. <laughs> They kind of take off. <laughs> one by one, someone comes and basically picks all of you up and everything. Except for you, Johnny. Oh, no. I'm uh, putting you uh, in trouble. Uh, Uh-oh. Yeah. Well, so, Johnny, we chose our father. Uh, uh, that's my under arrest. That's, that's, my, <laughs> yeah. that's my father my actually show up. Or is uh, uh, yes, your, father, your father does show up because okay. it, it is late at night. And okay. Like that. And like I said, none of you get in trouble. Your parents will ask you questions. Um, they'll probably think, oh, uh, this is pretty cool. I mean, yeah, you helped save this kid and everything like that. They're a little amazed. Uh, I know some of them, like, uh, you got, what, one, uh, is, who do you think would come pick you up? If you had... My mother will be drunk, so my dad will come and get okay, me. Okay, so your dad will come pick him up. Uh, is your dad, because I don't know too much about your parents other than your mother. Is your dad all right with that or something like that? I mean, what would he, you can kind of tell me what you think. Um, he'd be fine with the end result, but he'd probably be a little cross that we were messing around in, okay. in a field in the, in the penguin. Yep. You're not supposed to be in there, you kids, you know? Mm-hmm. What about you, Rob? Who's, who's kind of <laughs> uh, probably actually Uncle Rudy would have come back okay. up. 
because dad's not not in the country at the moment. Okay. So he, he's probably just like, dude, that was cool. <laughs> <laughs> you know? uh, you? Uh, probably my mom and dad. And, mom and dad yeah, both. my dad would probably be like, oh, okay, hey, you, you know, because he's always like, you're not going to amount to much. He's like, well, good job. Okay. That was really Your parents good. didn't really have issues, did they? Or did, yeah, they, they, did they fight amongst each other? Is that what it was? Sometimes. Okay, sometimes. Yeah, but my mom is overprotective. And then you've got a daughter, uh, not a daughter. <laughs> <laughs> you've got a daughter on it. <laughs> okay, your sister's probably there too because they yeah. can leave her up. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Stay here, your mother. He's probably a little bit more, you know, oh, explain what exactly happened. You know, he's not treating you poorly or bad yeah. or anything like that. Well, he actually does take yeah. time. For once in life, he does take time to listen to you mm-hmm. and what's in what happened and everything like that. Mm-hmm. So, so I give him, I'm not the Mako kind of guy of the group, but I, I tell him basically the oh. overview. Oh. So we get the kid out of pre sleep, mm-hmm. mm-hmm. brought it back. Okay. So, uh, as you watch, as these your friends are kind of leading everything, yeah. uh, Officer uh, Angry. Uh, she kind of comes over. Is like Johnny. Yeah. You want to come over to the car with me? Okay. And you kind of go over, and she kind of opens up the side door. Mm-hmm. What are you saying? So, you want to get on inside? Okay. <laughs> uh, oh, am I going to prison? Front or back in love again? Johnny's gonna get killed. You know, I talked to your grandmother. Your father wasn't home yet uh, when I called earlier, and uh, she doesn't drive. Cause she's older. Yeah, yeah. So uh, she so she asked me if I could bring you home. So I told her I would. Okay. So you're driving me. Yeah, I think that's probably for the best. Cause it's my car. And can we get my? Age. You can I get my bike in the back? Even in my brain saying, "Let the twelve year old drive." <laughs> yeah, I suppose so. Okay. I uh, like your books. Here, why don't you go get your bike and bring it over here? Okay. In the trunk. Can we like go get milkshakes or something? No. <laughs> it's it's uh, eleven o'clock. <clears throat> your cop, you could like open up the place or something. It's not how it works. Oh, okay. Could you could you make this quick? Come on. Yeah, 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 yeah. She opens up the trunk or anything, and you get your bike in. You know, and do you mind putting these handcuffs on? <laughs> yeah, that's cool. Wow, I, I didn't think about okay, this. Okay, I'm, I'm going to take your mouth. <laughs> nice All right. Three jewelry. Yeah. <laughs> I got two. I still have, I have both of them. So if you want to put one in ice and sell it, it's fine. My, my kidneys. <laughs> I was like, what are you talking about? <laughs> so you get in the, the front half yeah. of your seat. Right? I'm all right. And you kind of get to yeah. And basically, she kind of drives you back over to your house and things like that. <laughs> so that's, huh? I'm like, can, I, can we? Uh, I'm kind of scared, so I'm like, okay. This isn't like the newer cop car. Yeah. yeah. It doesn't yeah. have like computers and stuff like that. Yeah. It's yeah. basically just a, a cop yeah, car. So, yeah. I mean, there uh, are some stuff for the sirens, the radio, you know, it you know, does have that stuff in it. Yeah. So our, we are going home and I'm not going to prison, right? <laughs> no, you're not going to prison. She said your dad wasn't home yet. Okay, so that'll be after he gets home. Okay, great. <laughs> Can you check on me like after a visit me for your old city? He was a nice kid. And uh oh wait, here's the paperwork. Why are you think you're gonna get in trouble or something? Oh yeah, my dad's probably gonna skin me. And you could probably, you know, uh, I don't know, it'll probably be well, a why fire. would he do that? You helped out that kid. It's my dad. Yeah. All right, well he doesn't hurt you or anything, does he? Uh oh. Uh, well, unless I deserve it, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> Follow I mean, up with social services. Yeah. I'm like, well, I usually deserve it, I guess, but, you know. Well, uh, don't worry. I mean, I'm sure uh, your grandmother can explain. I, I told her everything that happened and that you guys aren't in trouble. We just don't, we can't let you go home at night on bikes. Yeah, you might end up in a cryogenic tube. <laughs> it's a vacancy, you know. And she got just kind of lost out a little bit. Buried under a mannequin. Yeah. <laughs> Inside a penguin. Uh, okay, so... Um, yeah. Okay, she's... Just... <laughs> so you, you kind of into this weird stuff? Uh... I'm looking into some things. Okay. 
So, like... <laughs> Would you like to look into my thing? <laughs> so, like, we kind of do that, too. I mean, we could be, like, a super team. <laughs> <laughs> you can be Superman. I'll be Batman. I'll be fine. Yeah. Well, yeah. if I find something, I'll let you know. Cool. We're going to have, like, code names. Like, you could be, like, super hot cop chick. Yeah. I mean, well, the cop, I mean, well. You know what my code name is? What? It's, it's Officer Ian Marine. Officer Ian Marine. Like, that's pretty cool. Yeah. That's my, that's my code name. You can call me Johnny Cage. Yeah, it's because you're, it's your name. Yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> that's because I'm sorry, I'm just kind of scared, so I'm a little, I'm, I'm just kind of nervous. So about this time, you're kind of, kind of rolling up to your house and everything like that. And as you get there, you do see your dad's car. Oh, crap. Can we go around the blocks again? <laughs> can I talk you about? I'm sure you'll be. Can I show you the bruises? <laughs> <laughs> and, wow. Well, I'll show you a before picture. He goes, uh, I'm sure you'll be all right. Just... Can you explain to Dad what happened so that way you'll believe you and not me? I'll walk you up the door. Cool. Thank you. I can probably grab her. Thank you. All right. Come on. All right. So she kind of walks you up and everything like that, and you probably act stands behind her, kind of like still scared, you know. She says, do you want me to knock on the door, or do you want to go to the door of your own house? Uh, I, I run up there, knock on the door, and get behind her. <laughs> you are the strangest kid I've ever met. I'm American. Give me a break. <laughs> uh, your grandma opens the door and everything. Oh, Johnny, oh, thank you. Thank oh, you, thanks, sir. It was for bringing Johnny back home. And I'm you probably run out and give her a hug. Mike out too. And, yeah. <clears throat> uh, you can give her a hug and everything. Yeah. I was like, uh, uh, here he is, safe and sound. Uh, I already explained to you what happened. Um, and she kind of talks to your grandmother a little bit and everything. Mm -hmm. So I was like, oh, well, thank you for bringing Johnny back and everything. I really appreciate it. I his dad wasn't at home at the time. He just got back. So, uh, you know, they kind of talked a little bit. And, He's like, well, all right. Good luck, Johnny. You want to come in for a cookie? No, all right. that's all right. I'm going to go home. My ship's over. Yeah. So. Um, I'll leave you with the abuser. <laughs> <laughs> and she kind of leaves. <laughs> Thanks a lot. Let's <laughs> <laughs> grab her arm. Tits out of a con. <laughs> oh, this is still better. This is still better. <laughs> Uh, your grandmother kind of brings you inside, kind of talks to you and everything like that. Oh, dead piss, is dead piss. Well, he went upstairs. Uh, he's in his office right now. He had a phone call to make. Okay. So, uh, pretty late. Like, maybe you should go ahead and go, go to bed. Okay, You're can I tell you? The office upstairs. So, can you put a rush order on those brass knuckles? For me? <laughs> I'd like to order one. Oh, can I tell you what happened? Bag, <laughs> I'm a little messed up right now. Okay, yeah. You can tell, yeah. You kind of talk oh, about it. Oh, Yeah, I need to get rid of this condition, and you're, yeah. my, you're my nexus. Your, all your conditions will be, this is at the end of the story. Oh, so yeah. All your conditions will be clear. All right, good. You're my therapy. Great. Yeah. So yeah, you got any goodness. She kind of, she probably gives you. Granny goodness loves you. She gives you cocoa, whatever the equivalent. Gives you cocaine in his week. Here you go, master. Sniff this rag. He is American. Right. He's hard. I, I, I'm so good. I can do this. Does this smell like? We get our, we get our luck points. Four or four. Yeah, you get points back too. Um, she mentioned that it, it's, you need go ahead and go to bed. Anything. I, I, your father's apparently still up there doing something for work. All right. Well, he'll probably pause at his door. And since he got rid of the scare thing, he's like, he's going to get his door now. He'll probably knock okay, on Hold on. Okay. okay. So you go upstairs. As you go upstairs, you can hear him talking. Okay. I'll probably go up to his door because I'm going to knock. Okay. So. Uh, do you want to sneak? Well, at first, yes. I will. I don't have sneak, so we'll just try. Well, that's uh, uh, move. It's under move, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, I don't have it, but I have three. And so and I roll my body. 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 No. No? You want to try? Did you still have more luck? More I had one left luck. <laughs> no. Or you can try. You can try. You need your D6s, man. Uh, I will become exhausted after this, but I'll push it. Okay. End of a long day. End of a long day. I'm like, yeah. oh god, he's gonna kill me. I gotta know what's happening. So I'm, I'm, glad, like, I'm glad I'm saying that. Awesome. Yeah, I'll wait one minute. You're gonna push allow you to re roll. Oh, okay. You yeah. roll the one. Yeah, and I'll tell you what. You got your gloves on, you're trying to do yep. fucking Norse. Yep. Secret. Yeah. Sneaky. So I'll give you the plus two. 
Secret Norris man. Yeah, there it is. Oh, you knew you were doing that. I gotta sneak up. Well, and I got on you. Norris, and it's like Norris right in my mind. You got this, kid. <laughs> yeah. Channel <laughs> in your inner <laughs> thought. In the movie, that would be the. Yeah. 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 <laughs> You, you got a kid, see don't what was worry going about on. it. That's actually him. Chuck Norris standing behind him. <laughs> okay. Uh, so you kind of sneak up the stairs a little bit and kind of get to the door and everything. And it's like, you can hear your dad going, You gave the DOD assurances. This does not look good. Just kind of a pause. Mm -hmm. It'll be all over the news one way or another, and Rick's Energy's name will be all over it. It was one of your employees. It doesn't matter. His name was listed on the project. My government is not going to like that. They could pull out of the project before it has even started. Fine, fine. We will discuss this tomorrow. Let's hope your press advisor can swing this around. Oh, good job. You just caused your dad to let me off the Damn. I'm going to bed. What did you have for breakfast? A beating. A beating. I'm probably thinking that. I, uh, you, you, you go to you your room, room. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And it's for bed or anything. Uh, you can hear the office door open up, mm -hmm. and you can hear footsteps coming over towards your door. Okay. What do you want to happen? Pass out. Hold your breath. You know, I'm good. I want to go into a coma. Um, I should probably lay in the bed. I'm like, I am really tired. And I don't really care what happens. So. It's, it, no, you, you can just tell me what do you want to happen. You want him to come in, or do you want him to walk away? Uh, probably sits there, and it's kind of that Chuck Norris is like, "Don't worry, you got it." <laughs> kind of that that lost thing of exhaustion. It's just like, okay, Dad. You can hear the door. Yeah. Open. Okay. He probably sits up. <laughs> the power drill. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> see a machete come around the door. See more plastic. Face towards the enemy. Face towards and it's like we said, enemies crossed out as sun. Face towards the sun. Face towards the sun. Okay. Johnny. Yeah, Dad. I'm I'm sorry, Dad. He goes, uh, what happened? Well, so, okay, so I tell him, like, the one kid said there was a body out there, so we thought we'd go look, and then we saw this robot kid, and we thought that was pretty neat, and then when your father jumps out the window. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, you're going to tell him the whole thing. more dads that way. Yeah, I go. Uh, he's like, well, anyway, so I thought it was, it was neat, and then we went back later to kind of see the robot, and we saw these strange lights going on, and then we said we need to go back and look at that, and then we went back, and there was like we found this cryo tube down there, and uh, uh, the kid's body, and then the, the burned up guy, and. I found the manual, and uh, I, I, I thought I, I could I could bring it back. I, I knew I could, Dad, and, and I brought the kid back. <clears throat> so Oscar's back with his parents. Granny knew him, you know, and I thought that would be the right thing to do. Did I do? Did I do the right thing, Dad? Go and roll charm. Okay. And I've already used up all my stuff, so I'm like, I might have to push this again. I'm like exhausted, scared. Injured. Injured. Be nice. <laughs> 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 it's it's going to be unavailable the next time. I got one. I got a six. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Well, I imagine you probably probably should have called the authorities first. Well, we kind of tried, but no one would listen to us. I thought about getting a hold of you, but you were busy. You're right. Don't um, come here. <laughs> well, yeah. Um, 
Ooh, kind of <laughs> yeah. So there was a book? Yeah, yeah. The police had it, or? No oh, shit, where'd that book go? No, I handed it to her, didn't I? Probably. You gave it yeah. to yeah. 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 Marie, yeah. Yeah, I think they confiscated it. Oh, okay. Jeez. No, I didn't hand it right to her or anything. Yeah. <laughs> You're not there. You didn't sneak out of your mom's house again. She <laughs> at your window. Are you dead yeah. yet? Because, uh, well, maybe you should just get some rest. All right, pet you on the shoulder. Okay. All right. Hey, he when he does that, he wins. It's probably like, wait, okay. Um, pet you on the shoulder like you're a... You could, try, you could try to empathize or anything like that if I wanted to, to get a glimpse of what's going on. Or... Okay, empathize? What's that under? It's the last one. Mind. Oh, okay. Right. So just... You had it. I don't have a mind. Are you kidding me? I'm an American. <laughs> <laughs> no. No. Okay. That's fine. Too tired. Too tired. Exhausted. Yep. Yeah. You kind of. Yeah, you are kind of pretty exhausted and everything after everything that's going on, and you just kind of lay back down and you kind of pass out. Okay. I probably tell Dad, Dad, I love you. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I know you do. Yeah, I'm so I love you too, son. Oh. Oh, you yeah. God. I'm going to need to call Special Operations to receive a code book for my... <laughs> As you shut the door, there's a click. <laughs> when you wake up in the morning, there's cars and windows. And... Yeah. So, let's write down everything you remember from this manual. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so that is uh, the robot who waited hello. All right. Oh, is that what it's good doing? game, man. Good, good, go. good, 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 good. Awesome. We lived. He lived. Yep. <laughs> well, uh, it's kind of a given everyone lives. No, no child dies. <laughs> Unless you're going to until, until you get to the teenage part. Yes. Uh, so let's do... No, it was a good story, Brad. That, that really was. Like, that, yeah, that, 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 that was... That was... That was... That was... Uh, yeah, yeah. Thanks for not going team. too deep into the kid coming home back to his parents because I was like, <laughs> I'll be snotting over here. <laughs> uh, I'll get you guys your experience for to figure out where it's at. Experience. It's experience of a lifetime. Well, it was a good game, Brad. Right? Yeah, yeah, that was fun. <laughs> you yawn. Ah, oh, it's good. I'm, 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 I'm so <laughs> glad we can make part of it up for ourselves. No, it was good. It was a good life. Like ending to that? Yeah. yeah. Yes. Yes, no, it was all really good. Very much so. And it's still fun playing kids. Yes, I, I it is. This <laughs> is a fun game. Yeah. Oh, where's experience? The experience is pretty simple. You, you only get like three to four points. Basically, you'll ask and you'll answer some questions. No, I don't know if that's just your number is. Let's see. So, just remember when you do get experience, uh, it costs five experience points to raise the skill by one level. Five is always the max. Um, so it's five points to raise anything to raise a skill a skill yeah I don't, you, can, you don't raise your uh, your attributes are raised by your age <laughs> oh okay. Uh, okay so i believe you guys all have birthdays you, yeah if you don't have a birthday listed write a birthday down no okay. where Anyway. Well, wherever you want to. Nope. On, your, on your stomach, your forehead. <laughs> my birthday for my character's on my forehead, but I can't see it's always backwards. I don't know if it's the 12th or the 21st. Can you tell me? What's the what's the year in game at the moment? 80? Uh, we're in 84. When Ghostbusters came out in 84, right? right? Yeah. Yeah, so it's 84. <laughs> Hey, dude, that's wow. my age. Born in '72. And it's summertime, right? Yes, it is summer. Ooh, so yeah. I just turned 12. 84. Yep, you're the big brother. All right. Everybody using their own birthday. All right. Yeah, I did. So yeah. my yeah. partners, uh, did you participate in the session? Yep. Yes. So everybody gets one point. Yay. Ah. Uh, have you been in trouble because of your problems or relationships? We yeah. didn't really do that. So, uh, well, except for maybe you. So I'll give you one point for doing it. Okay. 
Uh, I'm sorry. What was did you answer? use or struggle with your pride? Yeah. Yes. Mm-hmm. Pretty much did everybody do that. Oh yeah. I think so. Uh, did you put yourself at risk for the other kids? Yes. I had. I'd say so. Everybody yeah. did pretty much. Uh, well, even with you getting out well, of the house. Well, I snuck out. Yeah. 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 Uh, and have you learned something new? Yeah. Yeah. Have a little robot. Yeah. Besides that, oh, Johnny's a chicken. Johnny's a chicken. I don't think that's he's mine. <laughs> um, so you should all have basically five points, four points, and I'm giving you one yeah. because we did do trouble for you. Okay. okay. And I don't think I'm going to points if you have enough. I don't have time. So, so it takes five to, um, to raise a skill. Raise a skill. And you can only go up to five. You can't go higher than five. Right. So, did we actually get points for the first adventure? Yeah, where we should have four. Have. Should have gotten four. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Out there had that written down. Yeah, because I don't think you would have been able to spend that. So. So the raise a skill is five, but to start a skill, like put a one on a skill, is still that's a raising a skill. Okay. You're raising a skill. Yeah. Brad, I'm gonna raise my sneak to two. Okay. Since I'm not very good at it, and figure out a lot of sneaking <laughs> going on. It's a whole lot of sneaking going on. <laughs> yeah, you got the sneaky kids. I think it's pretty much a race the five you just took, and then right. <coughs> if you just use up the five you just took, so then you have the leftovers. Yeah, for you because you got yeah. five. Yeah. And then you just if I, I, if I use my five, I still have four left. Yeah. For the next time. Yep. Okay. Yep. That's that's how mathematics works. <laughs> <laughs> I will take one of that. Four, you gain five, you subtract five, and you're back down to four. Hmm. I wonder if I should put it in sneak or. Is my move to three. I'm gonna buy one and investigate. Is that what... <laughs> you only have four points, Rob. Yeah, I right. didn't have any. Oh, class five, class five. Class, excuse me, I apologize. I'm only raising yeah. my. I'm only getting investigate though. Well, you have. You, you don't have any point. You only have. You have to have this five. Points. Five. You have, to have five experience. Five for yeah. one yeah. kill. Points from the first game, which I was here for. But I didn't know about that. I didn't, I didn't mark it down. You weren't here for the first game. Yeah. Yes, I was. For the bird, we did it for this game. This is the a bird man one was the first game. game. Bird game. Bird well, not game. the first game, but the first session, right? Or yeah, this is all game. one. Yeah, this is all. Oh, first yeah. Game. Yeah. Yeah. I have a first story. Story. <laughs> first story. I'm not pushing his character to level twenty already. <laughs> no, I was. Yeah. Uh, I he's the best the, in the back. I thought yeah. the last time we game we got points for as well. No, 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 no. 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 <laughs> yeah, he was referring to the actual previous story that we like Deadlands. Which was like a story. So two years ago, four years ago, something like that. My apologies. I was understood. I don't have it in this notebook. Eventually, I'll find the other notebook with the other stuff, and I'll be able to check the date on that. So, um, Wade's going to increase a skill. He didn't say what. Okay. So. Yeah, it's okay. So he he's got his points. So. Yep. Yeah. So I don't have to remember nothing. Yeah. So. Nice. <laughs> Calculate. Hmm. Do you take a character? Or sneak? Roughly from behind. Mm -hmm. okay. Oh my. Oh my. Oh my. Oh my. Oh my. So I'm going to try it. I empathize at other points too, other than with my dad. You're trying to try, you fail at that point. But yeah. uh, I don't know about that. Uh, but empathize is where you want to try and pick up what they're, what they're thinking or feeling. Right. Mm -hmm. So I don't know if you used it in the last session. I don't know if we did okay. did trouble for you in the last session or not. I can't remember. I think we did. Yeah, I did. I with my dad. So it was more oh. just kind of an introduction thing. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna. I'm taking my first little of seat. Oh. Cool. Thank you, Brad. That is that yeah. story. Awesome. I'm doing it. I'm going to do it empathize. So. Okay. Yeah. I think I tried it before to learn the kid and the family and all that. Mm -hmm. Do we want to talk about whether or not we're playing next week? Yeah. yeah what, should we go ahead and just 
shut her down and then <laughs> yeah, we'll be talking about what yeah. we're playing next week now. Oh, okay. Sure. Yeah. Okay. Well, that's what I was trying to ask. Yes. He's unavailable and I don't yes, know. Yes, if I will be on vacation, I'll be gone. So does anybody know how to do everything that he does? Mm, <laughs> I can try and show. Well, we could either Brad and I were talking about we could either do Twilight characters. I don't know when you if you want to start them tonight or probably gonna take off yeah. tonight because I gotta get up early yeah. and go over to the hospital. So we can uh, either do our Twilight characters next week. We or next Brad week. and I said if you wanted to just do TikTok, we could just do one of those conversations where we talk. Yeah, about we could do we could do both as we're doing. Yeah, and I, we could kind of talk. I read <laughs> all of it, but we can talk about the character creation for those who are interested in that game or something yeah. like that, and, or talk about D and D or yeah. whatever we want to do. Okay. Okay. Now, which Twilight so, is this? Twilight Two Thousand. Yeah, it's with a vampire. It's not the sparkly. Happy. <laughs> it's sparkly and happy. No. Okay, so not not the. Uh, uh, not, 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 not the, the not the, uh, not the, not the European uh, fighting World War Three thing. So, it okay. is. That is. <clears throat> but World War Three, yeah. With vampires? No. no. We're making a joke. Making a joke. Oh, Twilight, the, okay. Twilight, Twilight movie. the movie. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Uh, it is the World War Three thing. Yeah. There is the Twilight that GDW put out, which is, it is we go it, to we actually go to war over the the regular combat soldiers, and then they bought that rights to that game. <laughs> Who did? Uh, the Free Legion, or Free Press. The ones who did Tales of the Loop. The ones who did Tales of the Loop. <laughs> oh, they, they actually are, purchased, uh, or they got, well, the, rights they got to, the rights to work with that. Yeah. So yeah. it's 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 going to be war in Europe, but with vampires. No, 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 no. Forget, that. <laughs> forget the vampire thing. We were making a joke about, about vampires. vampires. Yeah, we Twilight. were making a joke about that because the movie's Twilight. All right, we're going to cut it off. Okay. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> We're joining us. We'll see you all Thank next time. Thank you, everybody. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. <laughs>